Hey guys, it is Tim, back again with another video. So before we start, I want to uh, give a big shout out to all of my Patreon supporters, uh, especially Chris Hebert for being um, a top, uh, top Patron. Uh, and without further ado, let's dive into the tutorial. When I first got into Houdini, uh, the first thing I actually made was a, uh, was a flip simulation. And it was a simulation of a ball of dough being rolled out. But the thing I couldn't figure out back in the day was how to get UVs. Um, on my fluid simulation and later I, of course I figured out how to do this but I never really found proper tutorials on this subject and I figured maybe it's an interesting idea to do this so in the, in the basics uh, are quite simple how to get UVs on your fluid the problem it gets a little bit more advanced if you want to get rid of the seams so uh, the first part of this is just going to be how to get UVs on your uh, on your fluid and then we're going to get a little bit more advanced uh, and then we're going to get rid for, for the most part. It's not possible to get completely rid of the seams, but for the most part, get rid of the seams. And that that extra part, so the extended version, is going to be Patreon only. So you can uh, follow along with this, how to just get UVs on your fluid. And if you want to get more into the advanced stuff on getting the getting rid of the, the, the uh, UV seams, then uh, subscribe to Patreon and you can watch uh, watch that watch the extended part there. So, hope you enjoy. All right. So here we have an empty scene. Let's uh, call, call, uh, just make a uh, test geometry, the rubber toy, and let's move it up a little bit. So just translate it up like this a little bit, and or let's do a um, flip source. Just some basic source thing to get a flip simulation thing here. And let's make a top network. Just we're just gonna first make a very simple flip uh, flip simulation. So let's call it. Let's make a flip solver here. And then do a flip objects. Just uh, all the basic stuff. Then put a uh, out null here. It's out. And let's drag this out into here. Put this to particle field and on the guides for particles, let's put it to particles. Now let's go into the flips over here. Let's just make a camera by the way, so we can quickly get back to maybe where we want to go. So let's zoom in and just create like a camera. And let's make a ground plane and let's just use the shelf tools for that. Um, so here we have this thing and now let's link up our particle separation to our flip uh, flip fluid voxel size and to the particle separation and let's crank up the resolution a little bit and let's add some gravity here gravity now we want we're going to make this a little bit viscous so let's go onto the flip solver to volume motion viscosity enable viscosity this cost to be attribute come to the flip object and on the physical tab just increase the viscosity let's say 100 so this is just a very simple flip simulation that we made now of just a uh, this object falling down and going sploosh let's maybe uh, get a little bit lower rest simulation going so it's going to be a little bit faster all right, so that's just basic flip simulation there. All right, so now just let's load it in somewhere. So let's call this uh, emit. And then in here, do a dot IO. With dot IO, you can load um, dot, dot data. So let's put the dot network and let's put the flip fluid objects. And let's put it to flip fluid. So then we have our thing over here and then we have this particle fluid surface which is a pre-made sub node and let's also just copy this and paste it in here and then we have a very basic mesh but if you okay so let's let's just assign a material in here and then you can see the problem so if we assign a, um, a material from the, uh, the door shader. You can see we don't really have a material on here. 
like output and that's also because like we don't have any UVs here like as you can see no UVs no UV attribute you can uh, see the drop down menu and if we go to the emitter uh, tab so go to the emit and look over here you can see there's also like the UV attribute disappears so over here you have a UV attribute but it disappears because we're going we're making points here well it looks like it's making both a uh, sign distance field and it's making points if you uh, middle mouse on here you can see the point um, so what you need to do is because points cannot have uh, vertex attributes um, so if you go in here so you uh, so what you so you cannot just transfer them to there so what you first need to do is do a attribute promote And then we're gonna go from vertex to point. And then you can see already these weird uh, seams appearing. Um, and then you can transfer these to from your original mesh to your point. So let's do texture UV. And now we have our point UVs on here so oh, then we have our UVs on there and we can already get rid by the way of, of this uh, seam issue over here so let's do vertex split so what this can so right now um, what what's giving this uh, this this issue is because uh, we have these UV islands and like if you go over here so these are these UV islands but then when you promote it to points um, they they get promoted to points but since they are they have these clear edges here it cannot really uh, do that properly because um, stuff on uh, like for example stuff on here is connected to here so it will just try to connect it in there uh, and by the way I connected this on the wrong place but if you vertex split so you can split the vertex vertices now it's gonna split it so if you then promote then you don't have this issue anymore and then I can just still transfer it to my point and then I have the uh, point attribute so if I go to simulation in here and just simulate a little bit then you see I, I have my UV points in there and then if I go to particle fluid surface and I need to transfer attributes as well. So transfer the UV. Then you can see we have UV on our fluid. So that's that's the basics of um, how to get UVs on your fluid. So let, let's crank up this a little bit. I'll just crank up the simulation resolution a little bit and then you can see we have uh, we have it on there but here's the main issue there's still these seams and there's no easy way to fix that but it's possible for the most part um, you can get of them for the most part not completely but for most stuff it's uh, it's fine uh, so this is gonna be a little bit more advanced so if you want to learn more, head over to my Patreon, so patreon.com slash Tim van Helsdingen. And then we're going to go over the, there's going to be the extended version, which is going to also go over how to get rid of these seams. So hopefully I'll see you there and uh, talk to you next time. Bye.